The application was unable to start correctly. Click OK to close the application. What is up y'all? This is Alex from Alex PC Tech again back at you with another video and today we're gonna be trying to solve this application error. For example, let me redo the error. So when I start Far Cry 5, it's saying that the application was unable to start correctly. So there are two steps in solving this issue. So one is what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna type into the search here or if you're using Windows 10 or Windows 11 you're gonna need to search for CMD okay and then on the command prompt we need to run it as administrator okay so after running it as administrator you can see that our directory is on the default C Windows system 32 and then we will need to type in SFC space forward slash and then scan now okay so sfc space forward slash scan now where scan now is one word so what will this do is it will scan for corrupted files and then it should be able to replace those corrupted files so let's see Okay, so there is a system repair pending which requires reboot to complete. So as you can see, I might have some corrupted files. That's why the application isn't starting correctly. So I would need to reboot and run this command again. We'll get back to you after we reboot. Now that we have restarted our system, let's try if the problem still persists. So I'm gonna be running Far Cry 5. So as you can see, the application was still unable to start correctly. So what we're gonna do again is to run CMD, right click on it and click run as administrator so that we will be on the default directory C, Windows System 32. And we're gonna be entering again as FC space forward slash scan now so as you can see it's running the scan so what it's doing is it's checking for corrupted system files and is going to replace it with the ones that are saved on windows cache so let's wait for this to finish and we will again try to open the application okay now that the scan is in is complete it is saying that Windows resource protection did not find any integrity violations so we're gonna try to open the application again so still the problem still persists so what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna be trying to search for run so run and then this is the second step we are going to open reg edit okay so this is the registry editor yes okay so as you can see uh, this is my registry so what we're gonna be doing let me just maximize it out so what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna first create a backup of our registry how do we do that go to file and then go to export so you can export it somewhere where this will be for example we're gonna give it a name backup registry on 15th January so for example we're gonna do this and then after that after creating the backup we're gonna to go to a specific location on our registry so I'm gonna put the link on this path on the description down below Windows NT Okay, under Windows NT, current version. So under current version, we would need to go to Windows. Okay, so Windows. Okay, so under this path, okay. So Computer HK Local Machine Software, Microsoft, Windows NT, current version, Windows. We're going to go to App Init underscore dlls okay so as you can see there should be no value here so if there is a zero or if there's any other value that is in here you need to delete this okay and then restart your machine so hopefully after that your problem will be solved okay 
So that's it for this video guys. Like if you like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel if you haven't subscribed yet. And I hope I solved your problem and see you on the next video. Don't forget to restart.